Rub up your engines! All right, people are wondering about RAV4s. This is a brand new 2022. Why are they the number one selling SUV in the United States? Now, RAV4 originally stood for Recreation Activity Vehicle Four Wheel Drive. Now, this one is all wheel drive, and I believe they are all all wheel drive now. And they are either hybrids like this or plug in hybrids. If you look at the price differential between the non hybrids and the hybrids, most people actually opt out for a hybrid, but not a plug in hybrid, because this thing as it stands, He's getting close to 40 miles a gallon when he drove over here. You can't argue that with an SUV that's all-wheel drive. Now, he's never even looked at the engine, but we're going to look at it. The part over here has the orange high-power wires, and here's the regular engine. Now, as you can see, it uses the new refrigerant everybody does now, R1234YF, which costs a fortune. I didn't have to add any refrigerant to this matrix until the thing was like 15 years old. <laughs> So, and even then it was still working, it just wasn't cold enough. So, it's not like you gotta fill it up all the time. It's got a very dependable four cylinder Atkinson cycle engine. And when you add the hybrid, it's got plenty enough horsepower to zoom it around. And he's still got almost 40 miles a gallon driving it over here. You might wonder, how does that happen? Well, yes, it's not my favorite thing. It does have a CVT transmission, but it's a Toyota CVT transmission and they are relatively flawless. In the very beginning, they had some teething problems, but that was a long time ago. These, I haven't seen any real problems in them. They got good enough zip and they can get phenomenal gas mileage. And this is real world gas mileage. This isn't nonsense that they make up but i gotta say it wasn't too far off he got 39.5 or so and it says it's rated at 40. so that's pretty close you know considering that it's all wheel drive it's a relatively medium sized suv it's got decent clearance about the same as my matrix you look at the cars that get insane hybrid gas mods like a toyota prius those things are like about this far off the ground you hit a speed bump it scrapes the bottom off now this guy plans on turning this into a nice camper so he can camp all over the country. He wants it to be the last vehicle he buys. He just bought it, so he hasn't done it yet, but if you remember a video I made with my old cameraman Nathan's daughter, they had a Ford Escape that they turned into a little camper. Only this has got two more things going for it. It's a Toyota, and it's not gonna break down like their Ford did, and it's a RAV4. It's got quite a bit more space than an Escape had. And while I'm sitting in here, you can see why people like them. You can fit a lot of people when the seats are up, but when they're down, there's a lot of cargo space. They're carrying an awful lot of stuff. They got rid of that cool little spare tire on the outside because they've modernized them. You know, that's just too old school, especially for a hybrid. Now, the only downside of not having a tire out here is the spare in here is just one of those little bitty donut tires. You can't drive all that far in it, so, you know, you're always going to have a compromise here or there. It looks cooler, but you don't have a real spare. You just have a plain old donut spare. It's going to take you all that far, but rarely you take care of a car. Modern tires last an awful long time. Now we'll look inside, and he's making this into a camper. Makes a lot more sense to have cloth seats. It's nicely appointed. I'll turn the key on. You can see it's got decent screen on it. Regular controls for audio, phone, cruise control, you name it. It's got adaptive cruise control. Nice black and chrome. And it's a fancy model, so it's got a sunroof on it. If you're out camping, you want to leave the top open. And as you can see, they take the activity part of the recreational activity vehicle seriously. The mats are nice thick rubber mats you can easily clean not some kind of plush thing that's going to get dirty and ruined and not only does it have heated seats in the winter it's got a heated steering wheel too now this isn't a plug-in hybrid it does have an ev mode but most people aren't going to really use it because you can't get that far i had one once i think it went two and a half miles or something it's got all the various modes you got normal mode eco mode sport mode being a hybrid you can watch it charge see how it runs that's how it gets such good gas mileage with the hybrid combined with the gasoline mode if you're a hard driver you can also turn off the traction control you can heat the seats both front seats now if you're thinking about buying one you got to decide what do you want to get a regular one, a hybrid one, or a plug-in hybrid. Now, hybrids have a level of complexity that's totally insane. Well, he bought this new with zero miles on it. He's retired. He'll probably be totally happy with this. If you're a cheapskate like me, and you buy a used one, and you want to drive it three, four, five hundred thousand miles, then a hybrid is not for you. 
because they only go so many miles. Now, I've had some customers that were lucky. They'll pick up a used hybrid with say 200,000 miles, they'll pay a couple grand or something for it. Then they'll drive it another 100,000 and they got lucky and didn't have to put a bunch of money into it. But eventually the battery goes bad, the generator goes bad, and you're talking anywhere from seven to $10,000. Nobody's gonna put that in an old car, then you get rid of the car. Where if it was a non-hybrid car, you wouldn't be involved in any of that stuff at all. That you gotta decide yourself. How many miles do you drive? Is it stop and go city or highway? Because you do a lot of highway driving, you probably just want a regular one. A regular RAV4 is good enough gas mileage, but if you drive in the city, you're much better off with a hybrid one. Last time I went to Seattle on business, almost all the cab drivers were driving Toyota Prius hybrids because they got such phenomenal gas mods driving in the city of Seattle, going back and forth, and that it was a business decision that paid out wisely for them. Sounds like a Toyota. Notice we don't hear anything because it's a hybrid. It's going on the electric motor now. You see that little noise that it has to make so people know there's an electric car around. It has to make that noise. So you can hear it outside. So if you hear that noise, realize there's an electric car near you. Now, of course, in electric mode, it's quiet as can be. Step on the gas. All right. Now it's got the gasoline motor going. And it's a typical RAV4. It's high up in the air. And being a 2022, it handles a lot better than the older ones did. They've upgraded the suspension system and these things since the beginning a hundredfold. It's regenerating electricity. You'll hit the brakes a little. Regeneration continues. We're gliding. Now it's just the engine because we're flooring it. But then we take our foot off the gas. It's regenerating power to the battery to run the electric motor. And of course, the brakes work perfectly fine because you have regular brakes and regenerative braking. There's no problem stopping in this thing. So let's take it to the little drag strip here. It's fun to drive in a twisties. It's still not way, way up in the air so that it feels too boxy like it's going to tip over. And it handles quite well for an SUV. And we'll come to our little stop here. And we'll let the guy ahead of us get a little bit further up. And let's see how it takes off. Here we go. Not bad. Not outrageously fast, but it goes good. Realize, yes, it is a CVT transmission. And they're known more for efficiency than straight power. But if you want, you can put manual mode. You go down, get a little more zip, shift it by hand if you want. Makes the engine spin a little faster. It's not actual gears because it's a CVT. It doesn't have gears in it. It's what Toyota's engineers have come up to make it feel like it's a shifting transmission. And they're ultra quiet when you're sitting at a stop sign. Now, as I said, this is not a plug-in. If you get a plug-in, they claim they can go up to 50 miles on electricity alone. Anybody out there got a Toyota RAV4 plug-in, please bring it to me, either in Tennessee or Rhode Island when I'm there. And the one big advantage of the Toyota all-wheel drive system is you don't even know it's there. It's so seamless. You have no idea what you're driving until you get stuck in mud or snow and ice, and you're gonna notice one thing. It handles a heck of a lot better. And it won't get wheel spin that a two-wheel drive vehicle would get if you're in kind of an emergency situation. Now, things with this coronavirus still going around and still affecting car prices. This guy, though, was sharp. He did pay MSRP, but he didn't pay over. And you can see the list of this thing was 32 to 30, and he got some add-ons. So he got it for a little over 35. And he was gonna have to wait months, but somebody in Nashville decided they didn't want the one they ordered. So it only took him a few weeks before he got this delivered and started driving around. Have it in EV mode. So here we go, driving down the road in EV mode. But you'll notice, as soon as we hit 20, the engine kicked back in. This is not made for EV mode. They didn't jack the price up at the Toyota dealer. It happened to be beaming Toyota in Nashville. There are still people out there like me that realize it's a big world. Don't rip everybody off to get whatever you can because when bad times come, guess what? They're gonna remember the man who ripped them off and they're going to stay away and your business is gonna go <clears throat> You didn't pay an outrageous jacked up price like people are for Broncos and Mavericks and Ford Lightnings. Creed has a tendency of biting you in the rear end if you stay around long enough. So there's still some people out there that aren't out ripping everybody off. But in terms of an overall vehicle, this 2022 RAV4 is certainly not a ripoff. You're getting your money's worth. These things can last a really long time. SUV that gets 40 miles a gallon, real 40 miles a gallon, not made up. A guy actually driving a thing is getting it. So you know it's not baloney. 
and it's a Toyota. You saw it had plenty of acceleration. It's not really made EV mode. I showed, you know, over 20, it turns the motor back on. It's not that. If you want that, you get the plug-in, you pay more, and then they claim you can go 50 miles. I can understand why this is the biggest selling SUV in the United States. There's a reason people are buying these things, because they're making stuff that people not only like, but they like them over time. <laughs> they're not like, oh, I love my Jaguar, and then two years later, man, it was the worst car I ever bought. No. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.